Ignatius487 here, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is the launch title for the 360, called Oblivion, Elder Scrolls 4. So awesome! I love it. A lot. And we're going to start a new game. Let's get into it. It's Bethesda. I love Bethesda. Sorry I didn't start with the whole, like, beginning part where it shows all the all of the producers and everything it just wasn't really working out. This game, like Skyrim, does have some pretty janky loading screens, as you can see there. Now, hopefully that won't be too much of an issue down the road, but we'll figure out some things to talk about. Years ago. For 65 years, I ruled Patrick Stewart. But for Patrick all Stewart. these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. What's crazy? I have Bush seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. A doom. That's a crazy fight. Fun, though. Talk about some uh, exploits in this game that will make your life much this easier. is the 27th of last seed the year of akatosh 433 these are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my <laughs> life a friend of mine with an incredible amount of perseverance went to the central tower of the imperial city right there and with uh, with paintbrushes, this is crazy. With paintbrushes, you can it's 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 a known glitched item, but when you drop it, it floats wherever it is that you were kind of facing and standing, and it's very possible to make steps. It's tricky because you basically have to put down like two or three right next to each other to make it feasible to be done uh, but he used paint brushes that he duped of course and uh, made it all the way to the very top of the Imperial Tower and what's crazy about that is that the uh, the top of the tower was never designed to be stepped on or walked on. So it's just graphics. There's no clipping. <laughs> you jumped, fell right through it. Uh, that's Dustin. Dustin, uh, my good my, my good buddy Dustin, who is kind of an actor now. I want to say he's in, uh, he's in quite a few different things. We're going to be playing as a Dark Elf. The face, because there's no way to make a nice looking face, right? So I'm just going to kind of randomize it until I get something that I more or less am okay with. That actually works out pretty well. Okay, tone. Now, we are doing a true dark elf in the line of the Forgotten Realms. So we're going full, full on black skin, like ebony, as dark as is possible. That's reddening the cheeks. So you can't really see his face anyway. Sweet eyes. Can we do the, is there an eye color? Is that a thing? Eye color... I don't remember if this one has an eye color thing. None of that's relevant. We're not going to waste any time doing that. I do have a specific hairstyle in mind, which is the Rogue Knot. I love the Rogue Knot. But as soon as we get armor, it's not going to matter because you won't be able to see the hair anyway. It, it gets edited out. But we're doing uh, white hair. And wait, that's black, isn't it? Dang it. Can I? There we go. That's better. 
Using the right trigger makes it go a lot faster. Let's make it a little bit not as, like, ridiculously bright. There we go. Length. I do like long hair. I think for this guy, though, we're going to go a bit short. Eyes. Dark Elf? What? What? You can't change it. That's hilarious. <laughs> they have one set of eyes. Uh, we're going to make him young. And here's here's a bit of his backstory, right? He is... This doesn't matter either because you can't see his face anyway. His name is going to be... Oh, come on now. Galic... Galax... Uh, frick. Okay. I have a specific reason as far as why I'm naming him this. Tekken... Is there an, uh, where's the... Is this? Yeah, there we go. R. Tekken Ray. Alright. Cool. Galax Tekken Ray is the name of my character in our evil campaign. In our D&D evil campaign, which I don't think I've actually posted any yet up on the YouTubes, but we'll get to that. Anyway, yes, I do want to be a Dark Elf. Thank you. Sweet. Whoa. Whee! Knock the chains about. These are not really worth anything. I would normally recommend taking everything that you can. But these are just like weight. That's just extra weight. Hey there. You, Kinsman. Hey there. I haven't seen another done. You, Kinsman. Where you from, huh? One of the <laughs> one of the wild things about this game. You what, that we'll see. And actually it gets a little bit frustrating down the road is that she must be so lonely. This game has a total of four voice actors. Oh, that's right. There's Patrick Stewart, who's only Uriel Septum. There's Sean Bean, who is Martin Septum, and we'll get to him later on in the game. Uh, I cannot for the life of me like those those are the, the two big name guys. I do not know what the other folks' names are offhand. I'm sorry if you're actually one of those people. I just don't remember your name. This is a pretty old game. Uh, but they do basically every other voice. And that's fine. But at the same time, you end up with a bit of repetition. Oh, by the way, uh, we're going to be running these a little bit longer than normal. Probably around the 15-20 uh, to minute mark. Let me see What's up, Stuart? You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And, and this, this is the day. the day. Gods give me strength. Cool story, bro. Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city. I'm playing. He's going to be a rogue. By chance. I do very much like the stealth in this game. Mm, who are you? Emperor, Uriel Septim. I don't know you. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You Sweet. are a citizen of Tamriel. I need to get some Europe scrolls. Perhaps the gods have placed you in the here past. So that we may meet. As there you have done, it does not matter. Was an that exploit where you could duplicate items you with before. just arrows. I think I need different types of arrows to do that, though. I'll figure it out again. I'll probably have to look it up, but I go my own way. So do we all. But what path can be avoided? Whose I worship Chaldea, the, God. the goddess of death. Please, sire, we must keep moving. A secondary or tertiary god in this world, but mine nonetheless. Not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Look at all that! Look at that awesome-looking smoke, man. 
to be fair, this game does have pretty decent graphics for uh, early 360 PS3 land. I, I am playing this on PS3 because the one I have, I own it for 360 and for PC, but for PC, I can't use a controller, which is frustrating. And uh, for 360, my system keeps corrupting the save file, and I, I, I get like... 10, 15 hours in, and it's just like, nope, can't load the save file, sorry, we're gonna, uh, I'm working on my stealth right now, I gotta work on my stealth, there's a couple of, of things of note that we'll get into in this game, as far as, like, ways to level up your character, and, Captain uh, some of the best routes. <laughs> Again, it's been a while, so I, I might screw some things up. But did she die? Are these worth anything? No, no point in taking them. They have absolutely no value. That does. Hex, yeah. Give me that sweet action, Jackson. Torch and sword. And I need to wait. That's jumping. Okay. Yeah. Come on now. I might as well use the short sword because uh, later on you actually don't. What is that? What? Oh, is it? Oh no! Wait! Shit! Oh damn! I'm hitting the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. There we go. I may need to. I may need to adjust that. Not, that's weird. That's weird. They have the the R one as attack and R two is magic. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Shh. I'm trying to be stealth mode here. I'm trying to be stealth mode here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can I just take all? That'll work. You stop that, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to see a lot of this in the game. The lock picking. A lot. Yeah, I know. I need my bow. Oh, wait, I have to equip arrows. There we are. And boop. Nice shot. You can retrieve arrows sometimes, assuming that they're stuck in inanimate objects and not necessarily that deep in. <gasps> yes. Good, good. There are two things that I particularly like to duplicate in this game. Lock picks. I don't have to worry about having to find more and more or purchase them because they're sometimes a pain in the ass to track down. Uh, plus, there are some gemstones and some pretty sweet magic items that are nice to have duplicates of. If for no other reason than, than to sell for higher value. See, my stink already went up. That's what's up, buddies. I had shit. Oh, really? Oh, really, dude? You gonna be a jerk about it? No. Tool. Um, wait. <laughs> Actually. What? Select the spell icon to bring up the magic tab. Okay. Right, so you have... And you can actually subdivide these, so you have, like, attack magic, uh, well, different types. Healing, or mind poison, maybe? No, just uh, personal abilities, I guess. Yeah, A active effects. Okay. I don't remember what the symbols actually stand for, because it's been a s stupidly long time. We want to hotkey flare. 
as that and healing as down that'll be good we also want the sword a hundred bad guys with swords there we are that's gonna be here yep probably gonna be an archer for the most part because archery is super fun Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. No. 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 <laughs> awesome. All right. Till next time, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited for this game, guys. I can't, I can't even. Bone with tuna. We'll see you next video.